Hi dolls, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a talk through. I know my last couple videos were voiceovers, so I got to get kind of used to the talk through thing. So bear with me um, while I get through this video. So as you've seen by the title, this video is going to be my foundation routine. It's a mixture of products, so I thought it would be nice to share with you guys on how I achieve my foundation on an almost everyday basis so yeah I think that's it I don't want the intro to be super long so we're just gonna jump right into it and get started so I already have my brows done it's gonna take a little bit for me to get the courage to come on camera with no brows if you know me you know this about me so I have my brows done my face is already washed and moisturized with washing your face and putting on makeup, you don't want to wait super long to put the start doing your makeup after you've washed and moisturized your face. The prime time for me is about 25 to 30 minutes after you've washed your face. That is a good time to go ahead and go in and start putting your foundation and everything on because the moisturizer has already had a chance to really moisturize that skin and your skin's had a chance to absorb it. So that's what I've done. I've washed and moisturized my face. So we're gonna start with our primer. Our primer we're using today is Max Natural Radiance Primer. It's the yellow one. There's yellow and pink. The yellow one is more, supposed to be more geared towards the medium to darker skin tones, where the pink is the more fair skin tones. Honestly, you can get away with using either one. They come out with a color, but once you blend them in, there's no color at all. They're colorless. So I've definitely used the pink one before and it wasn't an issue. So what I'm going to do is just take a pump of the primer. You only need one pump of this primer, which is why I love it. It's an oil controlling primer, but it also has moisturizing <laughs> agents in it, which is what I love about it. It kind of does two jobs. So I'm just going to start working that onto my skin. Okay. So now on to the fun part. So I used a mixture of a couple, well two different foundations. I used Makeup Forever in 170. 170 is a little dark for me right now though so I mix it with a little bit lighter. Um, the next foundation is a little bit lighter than I would normally mix it with which is Max Face and Body. I usually mix it when this color is good for me. I usually mix it with C4 Face and Body but this one is C1 to kind of lighten it up a little bit because we don't want that whole mask thing going on not a cute look for anybody. So I just have my little palette here. I'm just gonna pump a couple pumps of the Makeup Forever and then we're gonna shake up this guy and then we're just gonna put just a little bit of the face and body in it just to kind of lighten it up. Not only lighten it up but the texture of these two are the consistency. I really like both of them mixed together. The Makeup Forever is a little bit thicker and the face and body is a little bit thinner. So mixing the two just gives like the perfect consist the consistency that I like. So I'm just gonna kind of take them on my palette, mix them all to mix it all together. And then we're going to I like to just dot my foundation all over my face. Easy. Oops, had some on my brow. I'll take care of that in a second. So once I feel like I look like I have a disease now, <laughs> I take my Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki. Now that I like spraying it with a little bit of Fix Plus. Because what that does is it wets the bristles a little bit and gives the foundation a little bit of slip. So it just blends a lot easier. So I start out by patting it in. And 
And then once I feel like it's all padded in, then I go ahead and go in circular motions. I do apply a lot of pressure to make sure it's nice and blended in. And I bring it down my neck. I want to make sure it's all blended. Because like I said, nobody can pull off that two-tone look. it up into my hairline only because I just really like to make sure my foundation is really blended so you can kind of bring it along with yours. Okay so once I feel like that's pretty much all blended I really love the coverage of it. It's not a super, super heavy coverage. It's more of like a, I would say a medium coverage, but it's enough coverage for me for an everyday, kind of an everyday thing. So, once we are done with that, we are going to move on to concealer. The concealer that I've been loving recently is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. The two that I have are light, I believe light and medium. Yeah, 20 light and 25 medium. Or, I'm sorry, 20 sand and 25 medium. So I'm just gonna take the lighter one. Cause I don't want too light of a, like a or highlight. So I'm just gonna kind of put a little bit around and then we're gonna do a couple couple little stripes of the medium okay. and I usually use my, my beauty blender for this, but it's dirty and I need to wash it. So I'm going to take my little matte crayon sponge, spray it with a little bit of Fix Plus and To get the concealer to not crease, what you want to do, you want to make sure your last step when blending out the concealer is going from the outer corner inward. You always want to make that your last step because what that's going to do is it's just going to really prevent the, eye, uh, the concealer from creasing. Okay, so now that that's blended, I'm going to take I have to set my under eyes because if I don't, then they just look, it it gets all crazy. So I'm gonna take a little bit of Makeup Forever's HD powder. This is a little travel one. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit on my Sigma, my Sigma F35 tapered highlighting brush. And then I'm just going to that all under the eye. There we go. We can do the same thing on the other side.
Okay, so that is pretty much the concealer and the foundation. But now we're gonna bring a little bit of uh, definition back into the face because you, as you can see, the foundation just kind of flattened and washed everything out. So what I'm going to be using, I'm gonna be using a cream to contour with. The product that I'm using is the MAC Match Master Concealer in 7.5. And then I'm using the the name kind the name rubbed off. <laughs> it's the real technique. I believe it's a contouring brush. Just a real small dome headed brush. I'm gonna take that brush and I'm gonna kind of put a little bit of the product on the brush. Then I'm gonna start right back at the ear and I'm gonna kind of drag it forward. And you can see. So I'm just gonna kind of just how you would contour or bronze everything up with a powder. Same thing, you're just using a cream. And what that's gonna do is it's really gonna keep the skin nice and healthy looking and really glowy and luminous. And I'm also gonna kind of drag it up into the temple area. So you can already see the difference that this side makes compared to this side. So I'm gonna do it again. I'm just gonna take my product and kind of swirl it on the brush. And we're gonna go in on this side. I'm gonna start right back here at the ear and drag it forward. So there you go, that's pretty much my foundation routine. I know it's a little simple and not very exciting, but I know I like watching these videos so I wanted to put one out for you guys. And yeah, I will be right back. I'm just gonna finish up a couple things on the face and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just finished a couple things up. I wasn't going for like an all out glam look today. I'm not doing anything. So I just kept it really simple. But that is pretty much the foundation uh, that I do almost on an everyday basis. I will tone it down a little bit or use less product if I'm not feeling like putting anything at all on because my skin is a little uneven and I feel like I need something on my skin to kind of even everything out, especially concealer because I do have problematic under eye areas, super, super dark. Um, so that is the foundation routine. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to stop rambling now because I'm rambling. Um, <laughs> If you guys have any questions for me, leave them in the comments below. If you have any video requests, leave them also in the comments. Everything that I used, even everything I used off camera, will be in the description box. If you guys enjoyed watching, give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button. And thank you guys for joining me again. I do need to get on a recording schedule because as you can see, it's been a while since I put a video out and I do not like that. I was busy for a couple days there, but now I'm gonna start getting back into the groove of things and get on a recording schedule. So you guys will see my videos consistently. I'm gonna try, I don't want to put a schedule out there yet, but I know I'm gonna try and at least put two videos a week out. So if you guys want to see anything, just let me know. And yeah, that's it. I'm going to stop rambling now. Um, thank you guys for joining me again. It was a pleasure and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye dolls.